Hello and welcome to Infinity. You may have seen pictures where there's like rich, dark toning to the colours and wondered how to do it, and I wondered the same. And I fiddled about and eventually found a way to do it that's fairly easy. And all you do is go into Adjustments and to HSL. And now we turn the luminosity down, so it's sort of darkening it, but to, make, to add that richness to it, we turn the saturation up. But the problem is you've still got the whites here that have gone off and there's some funny other effects here. And because it is going to be in the mid-tones and the darks mostly where this is, all we do is go to the right-hand graph here and pull this one down here. And so if you look now at the... we do this before and after, see the way it's gone from sort of fully saturated colours to kind of darker, more subtle colours. And you can play with this as well, by adding colours here. You can uncheck the linear, so you get a, kind of a nice curve and smooth transition across the range there. So let's try this with a real picture. So I'll go to HSL here, and I'll turn the saturation kind of halfway up and the luminosity down. And now we need to do that thing with the blend ranges, which is here, and pull down the right hand one here. Um, and it's just, you know, it's not actually so great, the colour here. See if I go before and after, I've lost the, the, the nice colour in that red balloon there. So I'm just going to start again with this and hit reset. And the thing to do is to dress each colour separately. And you could use multiple HSL layers as well if you need to, to do that. But it's often you can do it in one. And so here I'm going to click on the red here. You can also use the picker here and click within the balloon there to check to make sure I've got the right thing. And I can adjust this out a bit if I need to. Now I'm going to turn the saturation up. And look at the balloon now. So this, this is gaining a lot more sort of brilliance within it. And to make that darker, I pull the luminosity down. And there I get a greater contrast range within that. I can find the, exactly the right place just for the reds here. But see, that's a richer, darker effect now. So let's try the yellow. Because this is there's a lot of yellow in here and here. I can use the picker as well to make sure I get the right kind of range. There you go, it's around there. And now if I turn the saturation up and the luminosity down, that makes that richer because you, there you can see it's just too bright. You get that richer effect. However, I've got an effect in here where the people have got a sudden suntan. But all I need to do here now is to use the mask. So I've got the HSL there, so I need to go across and get myself a paintbrush that's in black and paint over these people here so I can bring this down a bit. You can see the effect there. I can be a bit more careful in doing that, but it's still pretty good. And let's try also, let's go to cyan, grab the picker, pick into the sky somewhere there so I can get the, the right amount. And again, turn up the saturation and turn down the luminosity so it goes a bit more realistic and you're getting a slightly darker sky there. So look at the effect now, before and after, before and after. It's having a very significant effect. Greens, you're not going to need too much because you've got dark green there already and the other colours there's not so much of, but you could play around with them. So there you go, very, very simply, how to make your colours richer and darker. The basic principle is HSL turns saturation up and luminosity down. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.